What is up everybody? This is Easy, Easy Street Gaming. Our traditional light explosion. Finally onto the good partners. This is the blonde beauty. Showing some benefits from the eyesight. Her wide stance helps mac maximize her strength and accuracy. She's got that long loose garment like the uh, samurai's way after her, I guess. Used to deflect. And the exposed erogenous zone made to distract the weak-minded. I have changed up a little bit on the way I'm going to do these partner videos because they're taking so long. You see where we are right now and how far I've got to go to get to Tusk. Uh, there, These usually take three or four hours to complete so I've changed it up a little bit and kind of cut down on some of the fluff. Hopefully uh, you can appreciate the difference little less information thrown at you a lot less time I'm gonna to try to cut the video time in about half so that that you won't be stuck watching as long the blonde beauty is a perfect example of how strong the three star partners can be you'll be able to max out her skills and use her as an elite damage doer elite attacker she's a great partner as a three star and um, all three blondes these are very common even red, the, the most powerful one of the three, they're very, very common. Leader skill of resistance for blue. The legion skill, she, uh, if she survives, she will boost your shaman's army by 30. At three star, you know, normal stats at three star. You can, you can, she goes all the way up to six star, third awakened. At the third awakening, she gets the hypnosis beam, which that's uh, she shoots a hypnosis beam, puts a target to sleep for two rounds. So that's pretty much Blue's top attack. Is uh, she has a sleep attack at third awakening? So a six star third awakening. Nothing really jumps out at me here. Uh, speed's decent, at, at just over a hundred, but attack and defense, nothing major. She is a healer, and her healing gets fairly powerful if you max her out, and you'll be able to max her out pretty easily because the, you'll get tons of blondes. And then her attack is the triple bash that all three have. And as you're... All three times that she hits, there is a chance that you can heal either yourself or the lowest team member on the team. It's based on their own, but own attack. Wild. Also a healer. So blue blue and, and, uh, and green. Until you get to the third awakening, they're pretty much identical. Triple bash, and then the heal. Same exact as the other. I think. Uh, no, this one will apply critical rate as well. So she gets a little critical rate, rate boost, but she doesn't have the she doesn't have the leader skill that blue does. So let's go back real quick. Blue has the leader skill of, of resistance, twenty percent, which that is one of the best leader skills there is. And green does not. Now at at third awakening, oh, hold on, I'm skipping over something. So if she survives, your warrior's morale will go up by 30. At 6 star, does not gain a leader skill, does gain the skill Heat Ray, and that's attacks the enemy, deals 50% splash damage. Oh, so that means whoever she's attacking will get damaged, and then everyone else around her will also get damaged. And a 75% chance to blind the enemies that receive splash damage for 3 rounds. And that means they won't be able to use their anything but their passive skill, I believe. And I could be totally wrong about that. <clears throat> so, blue, green, junk. <laughs> Sorry, but feed them to red. And I've said this a lot of times in the past about a lot of different partners, and I've been wrong every time. I, I just, yes, for a novelty, you can get blue and green up to third awakening, and they, and they may be okay. But really, red is good right, right out of the gate. Uh, she has a triple bash as the first skill. Second skill is the flying axe. It randomly hits one target. Once you get her up in level and get her up in power, that's a huge attack. I mean huge. And then the consecutive slash is the whirlwind attack. This is when she'll attack four times and each time the damage is increased by 10%. Now right here, the you can see, already see the difference between the attack here and the defense. There's already a big separation. Once she gets up to, to the 6 star 3rd awakening, her attack goes up to 562, but as you're moving up, that's going to go way up higher than that, and I'll show you on this account what I'm talking about. Um, 
At Third Awakening, she is a threat of a one-shot kill as much as anyone. Uh, she, she really is. Now, it's she's not a not not like the Tree Man, who if you if all the conditions are just right, and you have three partners that are all debuffing the other team, and they have six debuffs apiece, and then the Tree Man gets off his um, Elderberry attack, and then you, you know you can do. We've seen over 200,000 damage. She's not like that, but she'll consistently pummel everyone at at third awakening at six star. She's um, she's an all star there. Only only issue you're gonna have is her hit points are pretty low. She'll probably have around 10,000 hit points, which we know there's not that not that great for competing up at the higher levels. So yes, I would definitely suggest using it. I I would suggest using red blonde. When you first start, especially, uh, we used to start and we used to get uh, the Red Demon Killer. I don't even know if they give him away anymore to begin with. So she may be your biggest attacker right up right up front, and she is a big attacker. <coughs> You'll love her just like I do, and it's not just because she's the blonde beauty. Um, we'll go back and look real quick. Now, I've got this one here at level thirty-five, one star. Or, or first awakening and you can see that even though she's level 35 first awakening her attack is already over the max on the basic attack so as you're upgrading her attack this this number is going to go up over over what it says in this guide here so that's that's a little bit misleading you'd think that as her basic attack this number would never go up but it does go up and th and then there's also the bonus attack on the other side, which in in the case of this here, her regular her basic attack is at 642, her bonus is at 708. So we have a combined about 1300, or about 1350, not exactly 1350. <laughs> and uh, looking at the war patterns, there's a there's a, a couple different ways that you can dress her. Let's start off with the blue and the green, even though I don't suggest doing it. Uh, blue uses resistance as a skill leader as a leader skill so I would use resistance as her secondary function so uh, resistance is on the right hand and then use uh, speed on the left hand hit point on the on the head helmet and I would suggest using all hippo or later on uh, switching up to, to hippo and owl owl is, also has team resistance uh, but you can't get that right away. You, you'll have to wait until you're a little more advanced to be able to get that in the adventure stages. Uh, I would strongly suggest feeding all of the blue and all of the green to red until you have a maxed out red blonde. And then if you want to tinker around with blue and green blonde, then uh, go ahead and do that. F to start with, when you're first starting out, you'll get all of the three stars fairly quickly. You'll want to wait on the blue berserker and use blue berserker as your healer instead of the blondes. Sure, when you first start, you can use one of the blondes if it's one of your very first partners. But but wait on the wait on the berserker and use him. Green. She has very similar skills to, to blue. They both have the first. Uh, I think the first two skills are the same, except green gives a, a boost on the critical rate. So. Anytime that we have any kind of benefit that the partner gives, we want to try to enhance it. We want to work with it. So, a little change on the war patterns. Use speed on the left hand, critical rate on the head helmet, and then hit point percentage on the right hand. Also, instead of using all hippo, I would use cat and hippo just to give her a little bit of an edge as far as the speed. It's hard to find. Um, it's hard to find benefits in these in the in the red in the I mean in the blue and the green. So. Maybe you can get a little advantage with speed by using cat and using speed in the left hand. But getting back to the main blonde, the red blonde, Smilodon is probably one of the more popular. I have seen people use Saya because she does have the consecutive slash, which is four strikes. Then she has the triple bash, which is three strikes. So both of those attacks with multiple strikes in them do give the Saya war pattern multiple chances to stun so it can be effective but I, I really think that if you stick with Smilodon you'll get the 40% attack bonus then you want to try to get her hit points up as high as possible I went with speed on the left hand and then I have attack percentage on the right hand on the head 
And what you're really trying to do too, remember up here you want as many of these percentages as possible. You, you try, now this one has attack plus attack, not the greatest. But you want to see as many of these percentages as possible. So both war patterns, I, I'm not going to say they're great, but they're both pretty good. And let's see what we have here on the left hand. Left hand was also pretty good. Now you can see by the numbers that these all started off with one attribute. This one right here, speed, had five speed to start off. You can tell this because of how these numbers are. 3%, 5%, 4%. If this started off with two attributes on it or three, then these numbers would be different. And this would be 6% here, the critical rate. And the defense might be 10%. And the critical rate damage might be 8%. So you can tell uh, by, uh, by the numbers. Like... Oh uh, no, that, that I haven't seen one yet that jumps out at me as uh, worth a damn. Okay, this right here probably had critical rate on it to start with. So this right here probably had defense and critical rate. You can tell by the numbers there. So, Blonde Beauty. An elite attacker. Very high damage. Uh, try to get her in there with some kind of tank. Try to use her, uh, when you, if you're just starting out, try to use her with one of the boars. Use her with bear paw. Uh, they'll tank for her. As you get, as you advance a little bit, uh, try to get the catfish fighter. I, I don't know how available the shark he's going to be, but he's another shield partner. Um, uh, the red rum is another shield partner. She needs a shield partner. She needs tanks around her, and you need a good healer with her, and that will keep her alive long enough for her to be effective. She is an elite attacker. She can do some crazy attacks. If you look at the if you look at your lonely warrior um, Ian, which is no not Ian, I'm sorry, um, Saya, because she restrains green, you'll see blonde beauty all over Saya. Not at the very top because the red nomads at the top, but it, she is all over Saya for those big attacks. Um, I've seen twenty thousand attacks on that one uh, throw axe throw. So blonde beauty, great. Great three-star partner. Probably it's an elite partner. Probably top twenty, maybe top twenty-five total. And they we have a lot of strong partners in this game. So to be in the top twenty and start off at a three-star is pretty impressive. If you haven't maxed out Red Blonde and you are already in the last two stages of adventure where you have Lion and you have Owl available to you, you may want to switch up the war patterns or the starter out with with uh, a different set of war patterns once you get to the more advanced stages you can use lion and whale and they both they they don't give as much of a bonus to her um lion gives an, an eight percent attack to the entire team whales eight percent hit point for the entire team but it gives entire team benefits instead of just single uh partner benefits something to think about once you get into the more advanced stages so Red Blonde, hope you enjoyed the video. Got her coming up next, like at the end of all of the partner videos. She's going to bitch because I didn't put her in the top five. <laughs> so, appreciate everyone for watching. Sub to the channel if you haven't subbed to the channel already. Till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.